Welcome to Infection Tube, your go to destination for diving deep into the world of infectious diseases and the microorganisms that cause them. This is our microbial comedy club, the only place where microorganisms mingle and the humor is as infectious as the performers. Tonight, we shine the spotlight on a true celebrity of the microbial world, Perry. The Pseudomonas. Known for his resilience and charismatic charm, Perry thrives in environments from water pipes to hospital wards, making him a superstar in the microbial community. He's a pathogen with personality, ready to share his stories about fighting antibiotics and causing trouble in hospitals. So sit back, sanitize your hands, though that won't deter our star tonight, and get ready to dive into a world where the laughter is never under quarantine. Let's give it up for the one, the green, Perry the Pseudomonas. Hey folks, thanks for coming out tonight. Living everywhere really keeps a bacillus busy. Water, hospitals, you name it, I'm there. I'm like the everywhere man of bacteria. Seriously though, I've got this sweet grape-like odor. I know, it's quite charming. That's how you recognize me in a culture, along with my fancy green pigment and oxidase positivity. It's not easy being green, but someone's got to do it. Let me spell it out for you with my secret recipe, Bright Safe PM. Let's break it down, shall we? B. For biofilm formation. Yeah. I make my own armor. R. For resistance. Because I'm not giving in to those antibiotic bullies without a fight. I for the iron I snatch with my pigments like pie over Dean. G. Is for that grape-like odor I rock. It's pretty sweet, huh? H. I thrive in harsh conditions. Nothing gets me down. T. For toxins, my special attack moves. Watch out. Now for the second half, S is for my sweet smell. Can't you smell that grape vibe? A for adaptability. I'm the jack of all trades. F is for flagella, because I gotta move fast. E for enzymes, breaking down the barriers. And we wrap it up with P for piocyanin, that stylish blue-green tint I wear. Lastly, M, moisture, is where I reign supreme, loving that water life. So there you have it. Bright safe PM. That's how Perry the Pseudomonas stays ahead in this microbial metropolis. Stick with me and I'll show you how to thrive in style. Let's talk about my day job though. I'm one of the top causes of nosocomial infections. Yeah, I'm talking pneumonia, urinary tract infections, and those pesky surgical site infections. And hey, for those of you with cystic fibrosis, I bet you know me well. I'm the guy who settles in and refuses to leave. Kind of like your in-laws, am I right? And here's a fun fact. I can even help my buddy Staphylococcus aureus crash at your place. We're like the dynamic duo of infections. Now, on to the tough stuff. Antibiotics. I'm what you'd call intrinsically resistant. I've got these neat tricks like beta-lactamases, efflux pumps and being stingy with my outer membrane porins. It's like try to hit me with your best shot. Oh wait, you can't. And when it comes to treatment, you humans need to bring out the big guns. High dosing, prolonged infusions. It's like preparing for a microbial marathon, and I'm the track star. First line antibiotics? I laugh in the face of danger. Piperacillin, tazobactam, ceftazidime, you name it. But let's be real, not all of you can keep up with my resistance. Oh, and about those oral options, the fluoroquinolones. They're cute. Nice try, humans. Combination therapy. Two drugs at once? Sometimes it works. Sometimes it's just more for me to resist. It's like a buffet, and I've got the VIP pass. To wrap this up, if you're dealing with one of those multi-drug resistant strains of me, good luck. You might need to call in the experts. I'm not just any bug. I'm Pseudomonas aeruginosa, the green, mean, infection machine. Thank you. You've been a great crowd. Remember, wash your hands but it won't keep me away for long. And that's another night at the Microbial Comedy Club, where the jokes are infectious and the laughter is contagious. Stay tuned for more microbial antics next week. At the end of our show, we will delve into some fascinating scientific topics related to Pseudomonas aeruginosa, the green bacilli. Here's what we'll cover. The first topic to be discussed is quorum sensing in Pseudomonas aeruginosa. What is it? 
Quorum sensing is a sophisticated method that bacteria like Pseudomonas aeruginosa use to communicate. They send and receive chemical messages to coordinate their actions based on how many of them are present. The Big Bacterial Chat Room Imagine a huge online chat room where bacteria send signals to each other. These signals help them decide when to group up for actions like producing toxins or forming protective layers called biofilms. Pseudomonas uses several key chat groups or systems. Last system. Acts as the boss, controlling major decisions about virulence and activating other quorum sensing systems. RHL system. Focuses on creating sticky biofilms and enhancing mobility on surfaces. PQ system. Links the loss and rel systems and manages genes related to virulence. When enough bacteria join the chat and decide it's time, they act together to become more dangerous either by attacking with toxins or shielding themselves with biofilms. By understanding this communication, we can disrupt it with quorum-sensing inhibitors, preventing the bacteria from coordinating their harmful activities. Good. Now the second topic to discuss is biofilm formation in Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Biofilms are like fortified cities for bacteria. Pseudomonas aeruginosa is particularly good at building biofilms, which are crucial for its survival in harsh environments, including on medical devices and within human tissues. Why biofilms matter? These structures make it incredibly tough for our immune system and antibiotics to effectively attack the bacteria. How biofilms defend bacteria? Physical barrier. The matrix acts as a shield, blocking antibiotics. Altered environment. Changes within the biofilm reduce antibiotic effectiveness. Persister cells. Some bacteria go dormant and become super-resistant. Gene changes. Bacteria in biofilms can turn on survival and resistance genes. Clinical challenges. Biofilms complicate the treatment of infections like those in wounds, lungs in cystic fibrosis patients, and associated with catheters. Now, our green star, Perry the Pseudomonas, is eager to take the stage and personally discuss our third discussion topic. This topic focuses on the mechanisms of antibiotic resistance in Pseudomonas aeruginosa. As Pseudomonas aeruginosa myself, I have a variety of tactics to fend off antibiotics, making me a difficult challenge, especially in hospital environments. Here are my key resistance mechanisms. Efflux pumps. These function like emergency exits for antibiotics, quickly removing them before they can take effect. Enzymatic breakdown. I produce enzymes that effectively neutralize antibiotics. Target modification. I frequently modify my genetic targets, reducing the effectiveness of antibiotics. Reduced drug entry. Alterations in my outer membrane effectively prevent antibiotics from entering. Biofilm protection. I can shield myself with an additional protective layer, making treatments less effective. Overproducing targets. I generate more molecular targets than the antibiotics can engage. Gene transfer. I share resistance genes with other bacteria, spreading resistance. To combat these defenses, clinical strategies need to be forward-thinking, involving new medications, combination therapies, and specific inhibitors that target these resistance mechanisms. Thank you for joining us on this microscopic journey into the world of Pseudomonas aeruginosa. We've uncovered how this clever bacterium communicates, builds defenses, and resists treatment, giving us crucial insights into fighting infections effectively. If you found today's discussion enlightening and want to keep up with more intriguing topics on infectious diseases, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to Infection Tube for more in-depth analyses and updates on the latest in infection control and microbiology. Your support helps us bring more great content to you. Stay curious, stay informed, and I'll see you in the next video.